Hi everyone. Hi everyone, Intuitive Edge here. So I'm coming to you a little different format. I'd like to share my screen with you. I came across this article that I thought was actually quite funny and I want to share with you what I found. The Democrats are planning to host a town hall and they're going to invite a professor of psychiatry to come and give a presentation of why she thinks President Trump is not fit to hold office. <laughs> so let's read this article. Oh my gosh. Democrats are planning to host a Capitol Hill event featuring psychiatrists who will warn that President Trump is unfit for office based on his mental health. The event will be led by Dr. Bandy Lee, a Yale School of Medicine psychiatrist and editor of The Dangerous Case of Donald Trump, a book that argues psychiatrists have a responsibility to warn the public when a president is dangerous. Now, mind you, she's never evaluated the president in a formal medical setting. The position is controversial because public because psychiatrist associations urge members never to diagnose patients they haven't personally evaluated, saying it undermines the scientific rigor of the profession. Yeah, exactly. But Lee and others who agree with her stance say that their description of the president's behavior, of his showing mental instability and dangerousness shouldn't be interpreted as issuing a diagnosis. Now, I'm not sure what happened with my little camera down there, but I think the audio is still going, so I'm going to just continue. The president's condition has been visibly deteriorating to the point where there's a lot of talk right now about his mental state beyond mental health professionals. Oh, you mean like politicians? It no longer takes a mental health professional to recognize the seriousness of the current presidency. Yes, for those who don't like Donald Trump, everybody else thinks he's doing just fine. Thank you very much. The date set for this town hall hasn't been set, but would be held imminently soon within the next couple of weeks, said Lee, who said the event was meant to be bipartisan. Yes, bipartisan, as in, They'll probably get one token Republican in there, one rhino, and then they can call it bipartisan. Budget Committee Chairman John Yarmuth, Democrat of Kentucky, who has called for Trump's impeachment. Oh, there's no bias there, is there? <laughs> confirmed the event was in the works, but said it would be more likely to occur in July because lawmakers have a full plate in June with spending bills. We're planning to put together an event, Yarmouth said. She's calling it a town hall. We haven't actually determined the format, but it's going to be an event where she's going to present her findings and the media will be invited. Oh, won't that be a joy? Yarmouth said every house member would be invited, but that he hadn't yet gauged who would be interested because not many people knew about it. Lee said the group would reconsider the event if no Republicans plan to show up. Yes, like I said, they'll probably get one token Republican to show up and therefore they can call it bipartisan. The White House did not immediately return a quest for comment. <laughs> According to Lee, attendees at the town hall would watch a condensed video that was recorded at a Washington DC event held at the National Press Club in March that featured 13 experts discussing how they didn't think Donald Trump was fit for office. The experts who came from the fields of mental health, philosophy, history, and journalism said they were worried about the president's access to nuclear weapons and the impact his administration would have on climate change. <laughs> now, since when is Donald Trump a, a danger of nuclear proportions? <laughs> climate change, really? One person? Oh my gosh, these people. I'll continue. Lee said the event is to allow members of Congress to ask her and other experts questions. Oh, of course. Yes, she's an expert. Yes. 
Has she been practicing for 20 or 30 years in the field of psychiatry? Has she ever done an official evaluation on Donald Trump? What makes her an expert on Donald Trump's mental health when she's never evaluated him personally? I'll continue. But planners hope the town hall will be broadcast live so that people who aren't in DC also would be able to watch and submit questions. Oh, won't this be fun? Lee said the experts won't make specific recommendations about whether Congress should consider invoking the 25th Amendment to remove the president from office or whether they should do so by impeachment. Now, let me stop right there. For those of you who don't understand the Constitution, which should have been mentioned in this article, Impeaching the president does not guarantee that he will be removed from office. That is not how it works. It is not a guarantee. The House could vote tomorrow to impeach him and Donald Trump will still remain in office. It doesn't take him out of office. The political process should be determined by members of Congress, she said. Yeah, how about the Constitution? Should we consult that as well? I continue. Yarmouth said that to him, the event was a separate question from impeachment. I don't think an assessment of someone's mental health is an impeachable issue, he said. So let me get this straight. A bunch of people are going to get together and have a town hall streamed live across the internet where they're going to talk to supposed experts about the president's mental health and nobody has done an official evaluation. How is this even, how is this happening? This is ridiculous. Okay, I'll continue. He decided to hold the event for the same fears she has. Oh, so it's fear-based, huh? Coming from a place of fear. I continue. Referring to Lee, that the president is manifesting dangerous behavior and the American people need to be alert to it. Oh, is that so? Um, for those of us who aren't fear-based and aren't coming from a place of fear, I think he's doing a pretty darn good job as president. And I don't think there's anything to be fearful of. And I certainly don't like coming from a place of fear. I continue. Their position is that as professionals, when they see patterns of behavior that are endangering people, oh, don't you feel endangered, America? Don't you feel endangered? Aren't you afraid? You need to be afraid. Be very afraid. That they have a professional obligation to go public and alert the people who are threatened. And in this case, it's the American people, Yarmouth said. I think the American people deserve to have a wider dissemination of that perspective. Yes, we need as many people as we can to try to get this information out there because nothing else is working. Oh my gosh. It's not yet, excuse me, it is not yet clear who else will participate. Representative Jamie Raskin, Democrat of Maryland, who has a 25th Amendment bill that would set up a body in Congress to determine presidential fitness, had been asked to be on a panel that was based on the topic and set for some time around May 20. The panel was then canceled or postponed because of scheduling conflict, and Raskin's office said it hadn't heard about a new one in the works. His deputy communications director, Samantha Brown, said in an email that he likely would have discussed the 25th Amendment from a historical and legal perspective. Lee has been outspoken about Trump's mental state. She's the public face of a five-person group that is meeting regularly in D.C. and working to set up a medical panel to evaluate the mental capacity of Trump and Democratic presidential candidates. Oh my God, seriously? A medical panel? A medical panel who has never evaluated the President of the United States in an official medical capacity as a licensed physician? They're going to get up there and talk about the President's mental state and give their opinions that are not based in scientific rigor. Really? 
it's deceptive because it seems like he's alert. It seems like he's responding to things in a rational manner, but it is not the case from every measure that we have taken, Lee said of Trump. And this is very serious, in fact, worse than if he had a stroke and were unconscious because he can mislead the country in destructive or nefarious ways. Yes, like, like Obama never could have done that. Democrat presidents never can can do anything bad. It's always, it's just Trump, right? Okay. Uh-huh. One of the other members of the working group, Dr. James Marikangas, a professor of psychiatry and behavioral sciences at George Washington University, pause in, in me speaking here. Is he a licensed psychiatrist that is practicing medicine? Hmm. But the others haven't identified themselves publicly. Maybe they're smart and aren't known to the Washington Examiner. In April, Lee and other psychiatrists wrote a report using the former special counsel Robert Mueller's investigation of Russia election interference to make an assessment about the president's mental health. Oh, gritty. They're using a debunked dossier that led to a phony fake investigation, and they're using that to make their assessment about the president's mental health? Who needs a mental evaluation here? I don't think it's the president. They at first re refrained from using, from, excuse me, from issuing a conclusion and gave Trump three weeks to undergo an evaluation, by God. And after they didn't hear back, they released a conclusion that Trump lacks mental basic capacity for duties of office and recommended his access to nuclear weapons and war powers be curtailed. Oh my God, these people. Fear-based, fear-based. Our concern is that the dangers be contained, the dangers of having a president who lacks the mental capacity, lacks the fitness to discharge his duties of office for the remainder of his term, Lee said. I mean, this is really a national emergency. Oh, for the love of God. These people are scary. I don't know what happened to my little camera down here, but these people are scary. They, they put themselves out there as experts because they happen to teach and they don't have any backing in scientific fact. They're just bloviating their own opinions and parading it around in a freaking town hall this is this is disgusting and i just <laughs> i had to share this with you guys it's funny and at the same time it's like holy cow these people are running around teaching in universities and doing this kind of loose-lipped haphazard disservice to the psychiatric profession i have ever seen this is this is beyond the pale Oh, anyway, Intuitive Edge with a little bit of a uh, discussion here coming to you at a little different venue, but I had to get that off my chest. So hope y'all are doing well. Uh, I may follow this video up with a reading on this whole shebang. We'll talk to you soon. Intuitive Edge, signing out.